Aloha, Richard Halverson here. This is ITS 228, and today is uh, uh, March 9th. And let me share my screen. Okay, this is 228. If we look at the syllabus, uh, we are March 9th. Now, it, it looks as though uh, we spent a little bit more time on hash tables. Uh, and uh, so today is a, I, I made today, uh, this week is a two week, uh, a two class session. So we're gonna do a trees lecture uh, just on trees. And then uh, next time I'll, oh no, I've already given you assignment four. That's, that's what we spent time on, on last week, assignment four, which was uh, a hash tables assignment. So, so today I'm gonna talk about trees and then, um, uh, and then at the second, the second lecture tomorrow, I can, I can get into balanced trees and the, the, the assignment, assignment five is gonna be on trees. So if we, um, so let's get, uh, let's see, if we take a peek, let's just take a real quick peek at the, at the uh, playlist and we see that we are, we've done, yeah, so we're done with hash tables. Uh, and um, I, I, I talked about the last, I, I talked about that at the assignment uh, there also. Okay, so let's go to um, the textbook. And let's, let's talk about trees today. Okay, so this is the first um, uh, data structure that is different than what we've had um, um, is uh, the, the, first, um, uh, the first data structure that's different than, any, than anything, anything that we have in Python. Um, as I've mentioned earlier, um, a Python has uh, a, a nice list type that, that, is, um, that re replaces a lot of what, we, of what we learn in these higher level programming classes on linked lists. We can just use a Python list. And a couple of the assignments already have been taking what the book uh, implements as a linked list with nodes. And you just uh, replace that with a Python list and it works out real nicely. It's much, much cleaner. Um, a, there is no such thing in Python as a binary tree. So this is the first time we're actually gonna start having to use that, that uh, node with a, with a link to, the, to its successor um, and actually implement some data structures. A, uh, a binary tree, okay. As you know, uh, a list just has one successor. A binary tree has two. Uh, um, in a binary tree, each node has up to two children can have zero, one, or two children, and has zero or one parent. If the, if the parent, um, if a node has no parent, then it's a root node. And uh, the children, uh, a, a child, children with no, or a node with no children is, is at the bottom, and those are called leaf nodes. And if a node has at least one child, it's called an internal node. And a parent, is uh, uh, a parent has children and a child has a parent. So on nodes, ancestors are, are parents higher up in the level and so on. So it's just like you'd think. Uh, here's a nice uh, animation for um, understanding the difference between the two. So you should uh, click through this and you uh, get the points here, very simple. Uh, and here's a participation activity, which sees it, how well you understood the, uh, the animation. The root node would be Jones. So you type Jones and we check. That's correct. Smith's left child is Kumar. It's left with respect to us and not with, not with respect to Smith. And uh, the tree has four leaf nodes and it would be Kumar, Lee, Gong, and of course, Carly here. So you can finish that up. The concepts of depth, level, and height. Um, uh, these, these, the connections are called edges. Uh, uh, depth is how many um, edges 
from the root um, um, all the way down to the uh, to the um, the farthest uh, uh, child node uh, ch child node down the height the, the height is the is the, lar the largest one uh, the level is is the level at a node is how many edges back up to the root and if it's just a root node it's got uh, the height is zero so this uh, makes sure you understand that depth is one uh, a's depth is one wait a minute a's depth is one or a's depth is zero right a's depth is zero E's, E's depth is two, yes, because it's got two edges up to, up to A. So anyway, you know, answer this, make sure you get all the points. Special types of binary trees. Okay, so there's some more, more terminology here, and it's kind of what you'd think. Uh, a full tree is if every node contains zero or two children, that might not necessarily be a perfect tree, um, but a perfect tree is a full tree. Uh, complete is if all levels, except possibly the last level, contain all, all the nodes, so everything is, you know, uh, squished up the tree is, is um, contains, you know, um, no, no wasted levels. It's efficient. So, so here's some examples here. This is, uh, it's uh, not full. It's not full, obviously, because there's there's nodes that don't have children. It's complete. Be uh, complete means all levels are all levels except possibly the last level contain all the possible nodes. Uh, hmm, doesn't look complete to me. It's not perfect because all the in internal nodes. Uh, uh, if all the internal nodes have two children and all leaf nodes. Are, are at the same level. So all the leaf nodes are, are not at the same level. So it's not full, it's not, but it's complete. Binary tree is complete of all levels, except possibly the last level contain all possible nodes and all nodes in the last level are, uh, are as far to the left as possible. Oh yes, of course. Uh, yes, yes it is because um, um, I was thinking because this has no children, but this this is the farthest node on the right, which has no children. If if we were to add one more node, it would go either and and this were to continue to be complete, it would go go um, here, and then the next one would go here, and the next one would go here. All right, this is a uh, this is a uh, not full, not complete, not perfect. Um, before there are nodes over here, there should be a node coming out of here, coming here. There's, there should be a node here before there's nodes down at this level uh, and so on. So, so you can look, look through all these combinations, confirm that you understand what they mean. Not full, not complete, not perfect. That's full, complete. Uh, and then, um, so here, uh, nice, nice participation exercise. You're supposed to say uh, what the description is for uh, for all the trees, and uh, so you can do that. Tree looks three looks perfect. So anyway, you can do the rest of those. And here's some here's a challenge activity. I will do one so you can make sure you understand what we're doing here. All right, let's do the first one. Let's see what is the root node. This is all real easy. B. Root node is B. See, root is at the very top. The root has no parent. What is the parent node of C? Well, here's C, and so parent is up one and B F. And what are the ancestors of C? Well, here's C, and it looks like F is an ancestor 
I assume a parent is an ancestor. F is an ancestor, H is an ancestor, and B is an ancestor. I'm going to assume that's right. F, comma, comma, yes. Better put a space to uh, H, comma, B. What are the leaf nodes? Well, they would they would be K, comma, C, comma, J, comma. M comma L. Leaf nodes are all nodes that have no children. So these do not have children. And how many internal nodes does the tree have? Well, those are, um, this is this now, now is my question is, is the root node considered an internal node? That wasn't really clear before. I'm gonna just ask Google. Um, binary trees. Is the root node an internal node? Let's see. It gives me an answer. Oh, is the root node an internal node? The root node is an internal node. All right, good. Okay, it just exactly what it said. I was reading more into it, so. One, two, three, four, five. All right, fingers crossed. Ah, all right, very good. Okay, you can do two and three. All right, what's next? Application of trees. Okay, this is pretty good. This is kind of, <laughs> I learned something when I read this one. Um, file, systems is, file systems is an application. You can think of a file system like a tree where, um, all of the um, internal nodes are directories and all the leafs are, are uh, files. So it looks like that can be represented as a tree. Uh, so you can answer these uh, depth, height, uh, parent, which operation would increase the height of a tree? Hmm. Would increase the height of the tree. Okay, so we have a tree here. And what would increase the height of the tree? Adding a new file? No. Adding a new directory into the images directory? Into the image file? Adding a new directory into the research directory. Adding a new directory here would increase the height. Because adding a new directory here would not increase the height. So I'm gonna say this one. All right, very good. You do the rest of them. File system trees in, in a file system. A file in a file system tree is always a leaf node. I think so. Oh, no, no, no. File. A file is always, a, yes, a file is always a leaf node. That's true. You can click true and see if that's correct. All right. Um, uh, I learned something when I read this section, binary space partitioning. I'd never really heard of this before, but it's a way uh, it's, it, it's used, for example, to uh, determine which objects must be rendered on a screen, for example. You know, I've got a lot of screens here and um, it's, uh, uh, you don't wanna, some of those little objects that take a long time are hard to render. So you don't wanna spend time rendering objects that are not gonna, end up being visible on the screen uh, for the user. So um, that's what this is used for. And, and you can read this, just click through. Um, I don't think there's a chat, there's no challenge activity. So just click through, make sure you understand, uh, understand this. It, it's, it's interesting. Okay, binary search trees. This is, a, this is the application for, for binary trees, the most common. And uh, basically you, um, uh, it's a it's a special form of a binary tree where which has the which has an ordering property uh, that any left node of a subtree any nodes left subtree uh, is less than the nodes key you know the, the key values that so so all the nodes on the left uh, you know you're a node uh, all your children on the on your all your children on the left. Are, uh, are less than you, 
and all the children on the right are greater than you. All the way down. And it turns out that, that it's really easy to maintain that. It's really easy to add the nodes. And, um, so that's, that's what the remainder of this chapter is about. So we're gonna uh, learn how to traverse binary search trees, how to insert nodes, how to remove nodes. They, that can get complicated. Uh, how to uh, traverse, uh, because uh, you, you, may, you may wanna display out this assorted list of all the keys, uh, determining the height and insertion order. Uh, parent, uh, some binary search trees may have a, have parent pointers. The the ones we discuss here don't, but this talks about that. Of course, uh, binary search tree recursion. This, this data structure really lends itself to uh, to recursive algorithms, and uh, this this binary search trees. Uh, um, the recursion algorithms. Uh, are easier to concept to conceptualize than any iterative algorithm that to search a binary search tree, and so so we're we're, we're finally uh, finding a good use for recursion here. All right, um, uh, and then there's this concept of a, of tries, and and this this is not it's not it's not three children trees. It's it's a it's a, a prefix tree. It's a way of um, storing words, for example. Um, and uh, so you can look at this, it's an application. Are there any, are there any, say for example, you wanna store, if you wanna store the, the word um, apple and apply, uh, this is how, how you, would, you would do it. Uh, storing apply and apple, uh, you're able to use the first, uh, the same first four letter or nodes or letters, and then it branches off like that. Uh, and there is a uh, a simple challenge activity. You can do this. T R E S T R I E K E Y S K E. Um, keyboard or keys, mice or moose or mouse. Okay, um, I think you're gonna have to read, read this up here to be, to be able to answer the, these questions. All right, so um, now this is the, it's 205, this class goes to um, two, to 245. All right. Um, gee, I was only planning on covering um, um, this chapter today. Are there any? Okay. So I guess what I'll do is I may, um, um, I'm going to spend some time on, on this last section because this is the Python section. So um, as with all these chapters, this, um, this describes, takes what we've learned in this chapter and gives you Python versions of these algorithms. Um, again, you know, with this class, you need to know how to look at the algorithms and um, uh, you need to be able to look at the algorithms like described here and write Python. Um, but fortunately, um, you're, you're, you're given a lot of help um, because the last section of every chapter uh, actually describes the Python code and at the very end actually gives you a nice demonstration example. And with the previous uh, assignments, I'm going to take uh, the first assignment five is going to first have you implement this exact thing um, on your Linux um, platform. And then I'm going to have you make uh, modifications to this uh, to add um, functions that are described up here and given to you in um, an algorithmic format. So I see here, uh, I haven't made the assignment yet, but I see here that uh, this example defines the node, defines the binary search tree, and gives you some 
insert, remove, uh, and um, and then printing the tree. And so I'll have you have you implement this. Uh, get it to work. It should be fairly easy to do that. And uh, then I'm going to have you uh, implement something. Uh, one or two of these here that are not in this. So um, let's let's go through these these uh, sections here. So we kind of briefly go through these to see how they work. Um, so a binary search tree, uh, all the left subtree keys are less than the node's key and all the right subtrees keys are greater than the node. So it um, looks like this. So if this is alphabetical, we have, uh, you know, all the nodes to the left of D are less or less than D alphabetically and then the, all the ones greater than, and, and that's true for all these nodes. Uh, F comes before G, um, you know, A comes before B. Um, and I'm sure that's just a delivery. And so um, the ordering property. And so here we have examples of not binary search trees, not binary search trees and a valid binary search tree. Here we've got uh, seven on the left, on the left, on our left. Uh, and it's that's greater than five. And of course, it, that's not. Um, seven should either be down here, not here, but uh, the left child of nine, or the tree should look different and the seven should be up here and the five should be here and the nine should be here. Uh, here's an example that uh, the seven is, seven is greater than six and seven is, is to the left of, of six, which makes it not a binary search tree. This is a binary search tree because every node, uh, for, for every node, uh, if there's a child, it's less, if there's a, uh, if, if, if there's a child on the left, it's less. If there's a child on the right, it's greater than. So you can, can go through this pretty easy. Go through, confirm this. It looks like I did them already. Why did I do? Let me make sure I understood it. Okay, so searching is pretty easy. Here's, here's the algorithmic description. So, um, so you're at the current key, you look to see is the, are they at, you're at the current node, is the key equal to, to the key you're looking for? If it is, you're done and you return that. Otherwise, if the key you're looking for is less than the current node's key, then you visit the left child and repeat this whole thing. Uh, otherwise, you visit the right child. And, and you keep on going until you can't go any further, until you reach a leaf and um and if if the leaf is it then you've got it otherwise you return that was not found so binary search tree may yield faster searches than a list uh, because with the list of course you have to just one at a time uh whereas for the binary search tree it's you know oh of, of, it's ordered log n it's it's a, or how, however many, here's an example of uh, seven, seven um, elements. This is seven elements. Uh, the the longest it would take to find anything here is three comparisons, one, two, three. Um, the longest it would take here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here's, here is a, some very simple activities to make sure you understand how searching a binary search tree works. For example, in searching for 145, what node is visited second? So one, two, 100, set the answer. Okay, so make sure you, make sure you go through these. Okay, um, so here we're starting to Learn about how to express the, uh, you know, the um, the computational complexity or the time, the time complexity of how long these things take to, to execute. And with this O of n log n, a binary search tree in the worst case requires the height plus one comparisons. Uh, so the the order of 
number of comparisons is, is the height. The height is, uh, it's can it be expressed this way, which is the floor of this function. The floor is the, um, the um, largest integer smaller than or equal to, um, no, uh, let me just get the definition here. The floor function is the, okay, so here's, here's some, just, just look at these examples. Uh, the floor of 2.4 is two. Uh, it's, so it's the, the largest integer uh, less than or equal to what's inside. The largest integer less than or equal to what's inside here. So this is the, okay, that's the floor. You know, so the little square brackets are on the bottom. These, this is the ceiling, square brackets are at the top. So the ceiling, this is the smallest integer uh, greater than or equal to, the smallest integer greater than or equal to what's inside. And the, the floor is, this, is the largest integer less than or equal to what's inside. So, so the largest integer less than or equal to the uh, log to the base two of n, that's the height. So here's, here's some examples of uh, number of nodes. Where the um, log to the base two of n can grow like this, but, but we talk about the, the floor is, is this, this number two. It's the, the largest integer uh, less than or equal to the log to the base two of n. Okay, so searching a perfect binary search tree with n nodes requires uh, only order uh, log n comparisons as opposed to a linear list, which requires log n, n comparisons. So this, this is showing you that um, as the number of nodes increases, the height of a binary search tree uh, just goes up by the lo log to the base, log, log of n. So, um, you know, um, nodes, a, a, a list uh, takes this many, of course, it's the same number as the number of nodes, but this is a 10 uh, log to the base two of 10 is like log to the base two of 16 is greater than eight. So four, 100 is um, two to this 128 is 128 is two to the seventh. Uh, 1024 is two to the 10th. Um, 8192 is, oh, 16,384 is two to the 14th. Anyway, um, so that's how that, that's how those numbers come about. So of course, uh, your, your binary search trees really look attractive. Okay, so I'll make sure you understand these successors and, and predecessors. Okay, so here, here, um, um, a binary search tree defines an ordering among nodes. And so if you traverse, do a depth first search, traversing through a binary search tree like this, it's the order, the order is, um, um, can, you, can you hold on a second? So um, uh, by, by, Traversing through a depth first search and we print as we go. First we print the left and then we print where we are and then we print the right uh, and traverse through that here, here we, first we print the left. So it's, no, no, first we visit the left, visit the left, print the node and visit the right. So we're here, we visit the left, we visit the left. There's no left. So we print the node, visit the right, no right. So we return, print the node, that, then we visit the right, there's no left. We print the C, there's no right. So that we return, uh, we're done here. So we return, then we print the node and then we, we visit the right. So we go down, we visit the right. And then before we print the G, we visit the left, there's an F. 
no left node, no right node, print the F uh, and go back up to the G and G and we print that node. There's no right node, we return up and we're done. So that's um, that's the depth, the depth first search and we're gonna learn that. We're gonna have to be able to do that. Uh, and that's one of the advantages of a binary search tree. So here we, we uh, you can uh, do these participation exercises to make sure you understand uh, how that works. Kind of easy. All right, let's do one of these. I haven't done one yet. Okay, binary search tree. Let's uh, just click start here. Does node 11 in the nodes subtrees obey the binary search tree ordering property? Node 11, looks like it does to me. Greater than, greater than 11 is on the right, it's 25. Uh, so I'm gonna say yes. Does 76 and the nodes subtrees obey the binary search ordering property? Um, 76, so to the left is 46 to the right. Ooh, to the right, it's gotta be greater than, it's not. It's, this is less than 76 and it's on the right, so it does not. Is the is the tree a binary search search tree? Well, no. Everything's got to be follow the BST ordering property. So, all right, there you go. So you can do the rest of them. So here's the binary search algorithm. Um, so, given a key. The search algorithm returns the first node found matching the key or null if the matching node is not found. So this is just like binary search, except for we're traversing a tree instead of um, use instead of indexing, you know, in a in a list or uh, in Python it's called a list, and every other language is called an array. If you indexing through an array, that's that's binary search, uh, and it's the same. So you're doing the same thing with the, with the binary search tree, except for you're traversing trees. It's conceptually, I think it's conceptually more simple. Okay, so um, so here uh, we're searching for 33. So we start here and is, is 33 is less than 58. So we go down here, you know, okay. Each time we look, we check to see if it's the one we're looking for. No, it's not. It's, 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 um, it's less than, and there is a left, there is a left um, branch, so let's take it. Uh, is 33 that? No, it's no, it's not. Um, uh, so uh, it's so it's greater than 30. So is there a greater than branch? Is there a right branch? No, there's not. So uh, so we know at this point that there's no 33 in here. Pretty sure that's what this is going to show you. So let's see if we understood that right. Consider the following tree. When searching for 21, what node is, I'll do the third one. When searching, doesn't matter. Uh, let's do this one. Searching for 21, what node is visited as third? Visited third. One, two, three. This one. All right. Determine curves current next assignment given the key and current node. So the key is 40 and the current node is 27. So here we are and we're looking for 40. So what's the next assignment? Well, it's gonna be 39 because uh, the key is greater than 27. So we're gonna go to the right. So it's, it's not 27, it's greater than 27. So we're gonna travel down the right, the right edge if there is one, there is one. So let's look at that one, uh, 39. So that's the answer. Tracing a binary, tracing a binary search tree search. Consider the tree. If node does not exist, enter null. Okay. When searching for 45, what node is visited first? 45, so 52 is visited first. When searching for 45, what node is visited second would be 33. 
And when searching for 45, what node is visited third, it would be no node because we're at 33. It's bigger than 33. So we would be traveling down a right edge and there is no right edge, so it's not there. Oh, look, a um, challenge activity. What does, okay, so I'm gonna let you, there's only two of them here and this is the first one's pretty obvious. So why don't you, oh, I did it. All right, you can do it. All right, um, okay, here's the insert algorithm. Insert algorithm is pretty easy. The remove algorithm is difficult. Okay, so, the, so this is the, uh, given a new node, a, a binary search tree insert operation, inserts the new node in a proper location, obeying the binary search tree ordering property. A simple binary search tree insert algorithm compares the new node with the current node and uh, uh, it, it basically goes until it finds a place for it. And it's gonna be a leaf. We're, we're gonna be adding a new leaf somewhere and it's gonna be somewhere in the bottom. And uh, you know, we're gonna find, uh, we find where to, where to add that. We, we, we traverse down as though we're looking for it and uh, until we find the, the null, the, the branch that we should go down, uh, the, the edge that we should traverse to find it, and there's no edge there, and then that's where we add an edge and we add that, the new node. So uh, insert as a left child, if the new node's key is less than the current node, okay, if the new node is less than the current node and the current node left child is null, then just assign, uh, the new node to be the left child of, of the current node. So for the right child, it's the same thing, except for if it's greater than, and uh, search for an insert location. If, if the left or right child is not null, then you assign the current node to be the child down the, down the, the edge that, that uh, the new node is gonna be placed eventually, and that becomes the current node and you just repeat this thing. So, so if the, we start out, if the tree, uh, if, if the tree root is null, in other words, I guess if there's not even a root, then the tree's root is equal to the node. Otherwise, the current node is equal to the tree, tree root. And while the current, oh, this is a, a this is a um, iterative version. If the current node is not null, oh, oh this is it. It's a loop. So, if the what if the current node is null? Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, we can cheat binary search tree. This is a uh, insert. We can sneak over to here and we can look at this insert. In fact, I think we can probably up here. Here's insert. So, uh, you know, we've got these, if self node is none, then it means there is no root. Then we set the new node equal to the, the root is equal to the new node. and so um, current, if the current node is not not, not none uh, and, the, and the, the key of the node that we're inserting is less than the key of the current node, if there is no left child, add the new node here, otherwise repeat from the left child. So if the current node left child is none, then, then we have a place for it. So we put that in there and we set the current node to be none because um, we're done. So we can, that's what we do. That's we do that so we can exit out of the loop. Um, otherwise, the, um, the new node should go to the left, but there's a node there already. So we're just gonna make the current node be the left node and we're gonna come back up again and we're gonna do the same thing. Check to see if the key is less than the current node or greater than the current node and we'll eventually find 
a node where it belongs um, um, on an edge on a path that uh, that does not have a node, and that's where we put it. Uh, so this thing here is this call it to test the insert program. This is the tree. Here we insert. Here we're inserting these nodes. So it's two twenty. I think I'm going to keep keep moving. Um, we could run some of these, uh, but anyway. So that's insert. Let's go to remove. Remove is a tough one. Uh, do we? I'm just going to quick check to confirm that we do get a remove here, right? This is insert, and this is remove. And you'll see why it's so so difficult. Well, let's go look at it. Okay, so um, so given a key, uh, the binary search tree remove operation uh, removes the first found matching node, restructuring the tree to preserve the binary search tree ordering property. Binary search, the algorithm first searches for the matching node, just like the search algorithm. And if it's found, the algorithm performs one of the three following sub, sub algorithms. And it depends on where it was found. It's either gonna be found as a leaf or it's gonna be found as an internal node. And the internal node, it could be an internal node with a single child or a single, an internal node with two children. And, uh, and the, the, of course, two children is the most difficult because you have to pop out that node uh, and then you gotta, you gotta redo stuff to make sure that it, you maintain the, you preserve the binary search tree ordering property. So if it's a leaf, it's easy. Uh, if, X, if X has a parent, so X is not a root, the parent's left, uh, remove the leaf node. If X has a parent, uh, the parent's left or right child is assigned with null. Uh, else, if X uh, was the root, the, the root pointer is assigned, is assigned with null and the binary search tree is now empty. So uh, if it's a leaf node, you just assign the, um, that node to null and that removes it. To remove an internal node with a single child, if X has a parent, the parent's left or right child, whichever uh, points to X, uh, <clears throat> is assigned the X, X's single child. Else, uh, if X was a root, then the root pointer is assigned the, the single child. So, so if the um, so if the node that you're removing only has one child, then you can just take that child and and that child can just take the place of the node you're removing. But if it's two children, it's different. If it's the first, the algorithm has to locate the successor, and uh, the successor is the left it would be the left child of X's right subtree. Because that's the one that's next, so it's the leftmost child of the of the right subtree, and then copies that successor into X. Then the algorithm recursively removes the successor from the right subtree. So, uh, so you'll see that in the in in these examples. Um, so this is, uh, and you, you should click through these so you get the points. I'm, I think I'm going to click through these. Is the first thing uh, parent? So PAR is parent. Okay, so this the second one was um, okay. We are removing twenty five, and so in this case, we just remove it. In this case, we remove the 25 and the 30 comes up. It's got just got one child. So that child, one child comes up and takes the place. Yeah, so even if this thing has got children, which it can, it, a binary search tree um, is, does not need to be perfect or complete or anything because depending on how it's built, it could be, could even be, it could even 
you know, be linear. If it's if everything gets if, if you are adding, if you're constructing a binary search tree and the um, the nodes are already in order, uh, you you end up I think you, you would end up with just a linear list because each each node would want to be would end up being on the right of the previous one. Anyway, um, so we can do this again. Let's see what it looks like. So the first one, you move that over here, and the parent and the current, we just remove it and put a null there. For this one, it's there, so we move it over here. We want to take take we take it out, and we make the the um, right um, subtree of of the of the parent be what the child was. <laughs> okay, here is removing an internal node with two children. So we're going to move twenty. We're going to remove. 25. So um, we have to find the uh, the leftmost right child of 25. And so that would be um, 27. And so 27 goes up here. Is that all that needs to be happened? Let's see what it looks like. So that goes over there, that's the current. So the successor is 27. And then what happens? The successor is placed where the current is. And then what happens? Oh, 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 okay. Then we need to remove, oh, then then we, then down here, we have to, to remove the 27. And, and removing the 27 is easy. Not, okay, just taking it and putting it up here does not, does not remove it from down here. That's. That's, a, 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 that's another step because it may end up um, rearranging what's down here. Now, in this case, 27 is, is a leaf, so it doesn't matter, we just remove it. See, but, but the point is, is that we're doing the same thing here that we did up here. So, it's, so this, this could be recursive, is it recursive? It is good. It's recursive. All right, so that's remove, <clears throat> and uh, this gives the computational algorithmic the algorithmic complexity, and the worst case is all of n if the tree has n levels because we just might be. Let's see, I guess if it's like if it's a root or something, I don't know. It, it, it would be interesting to 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 write or to figure out what what a worst case scenario is and maybe I'll do that next time. All right. So let's see what this looks like. All right, I bet you number three is the hard one, but I'll do the first one. All right. Um, BST remove 10. Okay. This is what we're going to remove 10. Well, we just um, what is the left child of 20? What is the right child of 20? What did I do? What am I doing wrong? What is the left child of 20? Each increase. 20 is the parent node of 10. After, oh. Oh, afterwards, after it executes. You see, that's my problem. I was answering this question before it executes. Got to make sure you read the, read the question. Node 20 is the parent of 10. After this is executed, node 20's left child is assigned null. So node 20 does not have, oh, I know node 20 does not have a right child. Okay, so that's, that gives the answer. Well, I'm just going to do this again. Okay, after this executes, what is the left child of 50? Left child of 50 is still 30. What is the right child of 50? It's no. Okay, all right, we can do two and three. Okay, now here, I, here we talk about the in order 
uh, traversal that I talked about earlier, and this is the algorithm right here. Um, if the node we're looking at is null, then we're nothing, so we're done, just return. Um, uh, otherwise, um, call yourself on the left child. It could be null, in which case it's just gonna return. Then print the node and then call yourself on your right child. So you start here. Uh, the first thing you do is this null? No, it's not. So then you call yourself on your left child. Okay, here we are. We're starting over again. Is this null? No, it's not. So you call yourself on your left child. Here it is. Is this null? No, it's not. So you call yourself on your left child. Is this null? Yes, it is. Okay, so return. And then, so you return and you print it. So you print the A. And then you call yourself on your right. It's not, not it's it's null. So you're, you're, you're done. And you've, so you've done this one, this one, and this one for A now. So you're done. So you return up to here and you are right here now for B. So you print B and so on. So I've, I've, gone, over, I've gone over this before. So click, uh, click this and step through it and make sure you get the points. Consider the tree. What node is print? First, 11 is printed first. Is this, does this follow the properties? Lower, higher, lower, higher, lower, lower, higher. Okay, uh, 11 is printed first. Yeah. Okay, so you can make sure you understand that. Height and insertion is important. Um, recall the tree's height is the maximum number of edges from the root to any leaf. So you gotta, uh, maybe you gotta try them all and you take the, the maximum one, uh, the a minimum end node binary tree, a minimum end node binary tree height is, um, is log to the base two of, 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 of n, the highest, the largest integer less than or equal to log to the base two of n. So that means it's you know all compact and there's not you know a long chain thing like this going on. Um, it can be larger than this though, definitely. Uh, uh, but this is the minimum. Um, that's achieved when every level is full except possibly the last. The maximum n node binary tree. Uh, the maximum n node binary tree height is n minus one because uh, uh, because um, one because the root is height zero. So this, this would be like the maximum where, you know, you, you start by inserting an, an A and then you insert a B and that comes after a C, comes after a D, comes after and so on. Whereas if you were to uh, insert D first, you know, it, it would look like this, it'd be shorter. And it's possible to insert it in a way where it's, it's a nice, um, uh, uh, where, where each level is full, except for possibly the last. I suppose you'd first enter the D, and then you'd enter the B, and then maybe the A and the C, and then you'd enter the, uh, the F, the E, and the G, maybe, and then, then it would be a nice, uh, uh, then, then each level would, would possibly be full. All right, so draw. Draw a BST by, by hand, inserting nodes one, one at a time, determine, determining the BST's height. So I think we can do this in our head. A new BST is built by inserting the nodes in this order. What's the height? Okay, so first there's six, and then the two would be inserted onto the left, and the eight would be inserted onto the right, so the height would be one. Let's do one more. Let's do, let's do this one. Okay, so we start with 30. Time is it 2.42, I got time. Give me some sort of focus thing. Clear canvas. So first we do um, 
let's do number four. We're doing number four. So first I do 30, then I do 11, that's down here, 11. And then I do 23 and that would be um, to the left, to the right, 23. And then I do 21, it should be to the left, to the right, to the left, 21. And then I do 20, which is to the left, to the right, to the left, to the left, 20. And what's the height? Am I supposed to do the height? One, two, three, four. I think the height is four. What do you know? All right, so you can do that. BST get height algorithm. So this is the, the get height algorithm and it's um, recursive. So you can go through and see that at each time it returns, um, each time it has to visit, it returns one. Well, anyway, you can step through this. Do we get a get, do we get a get height algorithm in parent corners? Uh, I'll, I'll check later. Okay, um, height, we get height. Okay, so um, if this is not in our, in our, um, in the Python uh, uh, functions we get here, uh, I'll probably have you, have you implement this. This talks about parent pointers, how uh, bin uh, these binary search trees can have parent pointers with just, just a pointer back up to the parent useful in some cases. And then this talks about recursion, which we've talked about before. Um, and we will be using recursion. Uh, we'll be implementing uh, recursion in our Python programs in our next assignment. So uh, that's that's all I have for, um, I've covered, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna talk any about trees, just, just go through that. Um, so uh, I've pretty much covered chapter six. Um, and, uh, if you, uh, and I didn't, I didn't do much more than chapter six. So, uh, if you find that you learn this stuff more easily by reading the textbook and not hearing me talk, uh, you know, this, this, um, there's not, there's not too much important after that. Although I did briefly talk about, um, I gave you some hints on what the next assignment is, but, uh, if there's no questions from the audience, um, I think we're, I think I'll close it up here. So I will see you tomorrow. We're gonna to have another class tomorrow. Thanks for watching.